So, um, I wanted to talk to you about a book that I actually really, 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 really like. And it was a random find at Bedding Sage when I was walking around and looking for titles in English. Because there are obviously quite a few titles in Armenian, particularly older titles. We don't have too many newer ones, though there are some really great ones that are coming out. Um, I need, I like reading in English. I read really quickly, I understand really well, and even though my Armenian is really good, I mean, it is my second language, it is native, um, but it is not as comfortable for me to read books in Armenian as it is to read in English, unfortunately, but that is the case. I've probably read thousands of books in English. Well, I have only read a few classics in Armenian and mostly in the news. I wanted to talk about Queens of the Armenians today, written by Hai Kachapedian. Um, it follows a hundred queens, if I'm not mistaken, um, in Armenian history. And from pretty much the first of the first, Sosem, Epige, Arkana, before the Kingdom of Van, before Uraktu. So we start from uh, the reign of Adam, and we're going pretty far back at that point. So not even a date mentioned for her. But the first in the Armenian who placed a crown upon his head and was proclaimed king was Adam, the son, the son of Harman Ahabit. So she was his wife. And this is Sosam, first Armenian queen. And it ends with Queen Margarita, who was um, wife to the king of Cilicia in Armenia, Levon, the sixth Rusinian. And as far as I know, that would be Margarita. So um, it is fun reading these because for the most part, Armenian queens are very much glossed over. We barely know about our kings, let alone our queens. So, um, I recommend going through them. Some of the names are really weird, like Hutsan, um, Patar. Not something that I would expect. Some of them are really cute, like Zirane. Um, and Zirane is actually a name that the king gave her. So, just to read a little passage. The king of Van, Erimena, Son and successor, a successor of Arkishti III, reigned from 620 to 610 BC. The wife of Erimina, Queen Zirane, had an appearance of dazzling beauty. Before her marriage, she had the name of Machanush after her father. When she came to court, King Erimina told his wife, forget your name. We have a tradition in the court to change the name of the king's bride to one appropriate for our dynasty. And what will be my new name? asked Machanush. Zirane, the king replied. Zirani, apricot, is the favorite fruit in our country. Apricot juice is a divine nectar and what our gods drink. They are wiser than humans. They know that the apricot is the only fruit worthy of the gods. I want you to bring to me and to our kingdom the flavor of apricots. It is said that this tale was carved on a rock near Van, but it was scraped in 1916. Unfortunately, in our world, many things connected with Armenian history have been wiped out. So, um, honestly, most of the queens have very, very small um, snippets about them. Some of them longer, some of them less. But it's really good to get to know, even if it is a little snippet of a story that we know about a queen, um, just to really have an understanding of who ruled beside her kings. So long ago. So from the first queen to the last queen, we get to see them all in Queens of Armenia. I found it at Vernissage. So if you can't find it on Amazon, I will see if, there, if it does exist on Amazon. And if it does, I will link to it down below. Um, but if you can't find it online, then you should be able to find it in Armenia. On your, if you're here, then anytime. If you're not, then on your next visit. Um, if I do find it, then um, I will help you buy it if you're looking for it. But yes, definitely recommend as part of your library to just really 
have another view of um, Armenian history. It's not a novel, it's not a story, it is a whole bunch of little snippets about queens. So um, yeah, it's a very different read than my usual, but I like it, I keep it, I will go through it from time to time. I even look through it for a name for my daughter. So my daughter's name is Vani. At the end of the day, I use um, an Artsakh princess's name shortened. So Vanini became Vani. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on who is your favorite queen of the Armenians. Mine has long been Parantem, but hey, there are some really interesting people in here. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, um, give me your likes, your dislikes. What would you like to see? If there is a specific book that you have read that you would definitely want me to review, um, or if you've written a book that you would like me to share with the world, then please leave me a line. You can message me on Facebook as well. And I will soon link to my Instagram where you can directly message me on Instagram as well. So, Queens of the Armenians, and I will see you next time.